Welcome to STB exam forum. Uh, we have come up with the part three of previous year questions. Okay. And all these questions will be on general science, right student? So uh, one uh, disclaimer I want to give that uh, these questions are memory based, uh, which we have collected from the various sources and students feedback. And this exam was held on 18 December 2018. Okay, that is morning and evening shift. So we will be presenting 10 questions to you and uh, this is much uh, awaited video for all the students. So let's see the questions what they have asked. The first question was who enunciated the law of planetary motion? Okay. These are the four options. Let's see what will be the correct one. The Nicholas Corpus uh, is a scientist uh, who told us that Earth revolves around the sun. Okay. So he is not the one who gives a law of planetary motion. Next option B, Kepler is the correct one because uh, he gave that uh, three planetary law of motion. Okay. And as well as we know that Isaac Newton uh, gives a law of motion, whereas Galileo discovered uh, some satellites of Jupiter and uh, also discovered and invent telescope. Okay. So the correct answer is John S. Kepler. Okay. Coming to the next question, the SI unit of wavelength is, uh, this is very easy question. Uh, we all know that length is measured in meter. Uh, so SI unit of wavelength will also be meter, right? So correct answer is meter. Coming to the next question, uh, a device which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. Okay. Sorry for that interrupt. So these are the four options. Uh, let's eliminate one by one. So dynamo and generator both work on the same principle that it they, these convert mechanically into uh, electrical energy. Okay. Uh, next one induction coil is based on uh, electromotive force. Uh, so uh, this option will not be eliminated. So option C is a correct uh, motor which convert electrical energy to mechanical. You can think of a fan uh, when you switch on the electrical energy is converted into mechanical. So it start rotating, right student? So the correct answer is motor. Coming to the next question, uh, which of the following is first intermediate range ballistic missile in India? So this is related to DRDO product. So these are the four options. Uh, so Akash is a surface to air missile, uh, whereas Prithvi and Trishul are surface to surface missile. The Agni is intermediate range ballistic missile. Uh, okay. Uh, so the correct answer for this question will be Agni missile. Okay. Coming to the next question. Uh, this is uh, again from physics. Uh, if the weight of a body is six Newton on the moon, what will be the, uh, what will be its it be on earth okay so weight uh, is given in 6 newton on moon so as you know that uh, on moon it is one sixth of the whatever the mass we have on earth so it will be the six times of that moon okay so the correct answer will be 36 okay student understood now so the relation between mass on earth and mass on moon you can think of if you have 36 kg on uh, 36 Newton on earth, it will be six Newton on the moon. It will be one by six of that mass on earth. Okay. So the correct answer is 36 Newton. Uh, coming to the next question, uh, where is uh, Thumba Electro Equatorial Research uh, Rocket Launching Center? Okay. So uh, as you know that Vikram Sarabhai has uh, established this uh, institution and uh, this was uh, established in Kerala. Okay. So the correct answer is option B Kerala. Another station is there Shri Hari Kota that is in Andhra Pradesh. Okay. Uh, so correct answer is Kerala. Coming to the next question, uh, this is from biology. The acid present in gastric juice is, these are the four options. So 
you can enable it one by one ascorbic acid it is uh, just a vitamin c so it can't be in gastric juice okay sulfuric and nitric uh, these are somewhat uh, dangerous uh, compound which should not be present in gastric juice so the correct answer is hydrochloric uh, with some less ph value okay so the correct answer is hydrochloric acid right so coming to the next question what is the average lifespan of rpc again this is from biology so this uh, uh, we cannot eliminate but you should know that uh, average lifespan of rbc is 120 days okay okay student 120 days is the correct answer coming to the next question uh, if the mass of the body on surface of earth is 50 kg its mass at center of earth is what so this is a similar uh, question but somewhat they have to state so uh, on the surface one mass is given on is 50 kg okay so they are ask, asking if you go to the center of earth what will be the mass students uh, you should remember that uh, mass of any body does not change with the location weight can change but mass cannot be uh, based on the position okay so the mass will remain the same that is 50 kg so the answer is equal to 50 kg okay so mass is invariant of the body whereas weight can change okay uh, so what will be the weight in k if uh, if we they ask what will be the weight at the center so the answer would be zero because it goes uh, with the radius okay at center it will be zero because uh, weight depend upon the gravity right at the center of gravity we have zero so weight will also be zero coming to the last question uh, which we have come up uh, and the chemical name of vitamin c is what again uh, we will use the elimination method so uh, first one is citric acid uh, you know citric acids are found in generally citrus fruit like uh, mang uh, oranges okay lemon okay oxalic acid is generally found on the ant sting okay uh, you have uh, if you have bitten something ant so you, you must be have itching sensation this is because of oxalic acid okay uh, the correct option is ascorbic acid uh, the chemical name of vitamin c is ascorbic acid and the option a that acetic acid it is generally found in vinegar okay understood student so the correct answer is ascorbic acid right so uh, thanks for watching uh, we will come up with the next part that is part 4 soon okay if you like this video you can share with your friends okay thank you have a nice day